Warning, the following video contains spoilers. If you don't want this episode spoiled for you, switch the video off now. <sighs> you know, given everything that's going on in the world at the moment, suddenly our host plague Dr. Mass really doesn't seem so silly now, does it? I mean, especially seeing as Tokoyama seems to have bird for whatever, I mean... Sheesh. What did you think about this week's episode of My Hero Academia? Let me know in the comments section down below and I'll get back to you shortly. But directly in the comments themselves or towards the end of next week's video. Be sure to like, favourite, subscribe and do all the YouTube stuff that YouTube wants you to do. Click the bell and all that malarkey because it supports small content creators. Support your local small content creator today. It does them a power of good. And I mean that most sincerely, I really do. And a big thank you to everybody that's been liking and subscribing over the past couple episodes. It really does do me a power of good. <laughs> this week we have the first episode in a brand new story arc. A story arc which is beginning in the penultimate episode of this season. Needless to say, I think this is a royally stupid thing to do. Of course, this series has done this multiple times over the past few seasons, and each and every single one of those times, I have hated it absolutely profoundly. At least then, however, I was binge watching the season to get up until this point, so it wasn't as big as an impact on me as it was going to be this time around, but you know what, needless to say, I'm not best pleased about it, and if this isn't some kind of ultra small two episode arc, I'll probably have a bit of a rant about it next week, but we'll, you know what, we'll, we'll deal with what we have to go through this week. This week is the first episode in what has been touted, or at least speculated to be the Endeavour Redemption arc. Ooh, we're gonna give that scumbag a time to shine. Yeah, we'll see where all that's going, but needless to say, I'm very sceptical if you can even redeem a character like him, but you know what, whatevs. This week, the League of Villains is wheeling out its latest and greatest no mood, the Meta Liberation Army is being established, and Best Genius is definitely on a break. He's not dead, or captured, or a Nomu, or having something horrible done to him, he's definitely on a break. Maybe he's trying to find his face, I really don't know, we'll soon find out about it. But I'm speculating that it may be something horrible, nasty and dark, and yet another fan theory coming true, but we'll soon see about that. He's definitely taking an extended sabbatical, and no one seems to be in this entire world seems to be a little bit suspicious that one of the greatest heroes in that country is all of a sudden inexplicably missing taking a break maybe maybe someone, someone should give him a poke on facebook or give him a call see if he's okay see if he's being captured or being interrogated or he's being made a villain we'll soon see where all that's going that phrase is going to be said a lot this week we'll soon see where that's going because this is an episode which is establishing a lot it's not really concluding a lot but it is setting stuff up setting stuff up which will hopefully be resolved fairly soonish but given the fact this feels like it's the first episode in a whole story arc of many different parts to it we'll soon see about that this episode is mostly focused around Endeavour and Hawks, getting to know them a little bit better, getting to know about more of their power sets and their mindsets towards hero stuff, as well as being introduced to the Japanese hero billboard chart. <laughs> we get a basic rundown of how it functions and it's important to the professional hero trade. It's a nice little bit of an insight and a great bit of world building to help us understand exactly how this world itself functions and how stuff like this can even exist in the first place. This is an episode which itself is rich in world building with plenty of smaller moments that I really enjoy such as the fact we get to see Endeavour and Hawks doing some light hero stuff yeah it's really fun to see Midori and whoever fighting some really big monster or some really awesome bad guy but seeing them always fighting these kind of villains and going above and beyond the call of duty whilst that stuff is fascinating to watch by and large, I really enjoy the smaller scale stuff as well. Just seeing Hawks and Endeavor just going through the streets, dealing with their fan bases, dealing with random nutters flashing on the streets, dealing with old ladies who have lost their dog or are trying to get up flights of stairs. That kind of stuff, that smaller scale stuff is really interesting to me. Particularly interesting is the whole stuff in them developing the investigation into the Nomu. I really love that stuff. I like this kind of more detective side of things that we've seen only briefly up in this series thus far. And it kind of makes me want to see a spin-off which is just focused around pro heroes though given the overall trajectory of this season a series as a whole rather chances are in a couple of years time we'll end up having uh, a, a series like this but you'll still be focused around Midori and Bakugou and co with them finally becoming pro heroes but we'll soon see where all that kind of goes like I say I like the more investigative kind of things I like the kind of for want of a better word 
flashier Batman-y stuff. It really sits well with me. And, you know, I like it. I like it. There's no way to say it. I like that kind of small-scale stuff. It, it gets the pass from me. It gets the thumbs up. I would discuss more about the Meta Liberation Army, but at this point, we don't really know much about them. Of course, anybody that's read the manga will probably know a lot more than I do and many other people. And as always, please don't spoil it for anybody that's just watching this in the anime. Please do not do that. So at this point, for me, it's really more speculation as to what they are and what their motivations are going to be. Given their name, Meta Liberation Army, I'm guessing that they're a group that wants to see the ab abolition of all laws surrounding hero stuff and quirk usage. They want to see the world taken back to a similar kind of time, much like uh, General Criminal did, but I think in a far more extensive way. They want to see all laws possibly relating to anybody with a superpower just abolished and gotten rid of which naturally will probably end up resulting in anarchy, seeing as about 80% of this world's population have superpowers. But you know what? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe one. I'm not a superhero living in a superhero world. Maybe in this world, if they got rid of all laws surrounding quirk usage and hero powers, you know, maybe it would turn out perfectly fine. Everybody, it'd be world peace and happiness and everybody skipping along, singing a, a happy song with a smile on their face and a song in their hearts. Everybody joining around in ring a ring of roses and saying about how wonderful life is, that there's no laws to protect everybody from psychopaths with superpowers I'm sure it would turn out perfectly a-okay <laughs> I'm getting certain vibes from Hawks, if I'm going to be honest with you, dear viewer. I'm getting the feeling that he's going to turn out to be a secret arsehole. I'm getting the same kind of vibes from him as I got from Sir Nighty. But with Sir Nighty Wars, I did feel as though he was a secret arsehole. At least his arseholiness was justified. It was a kind of ultimately more of a Professor Snape kind of vibe that you end up getting from him. Which ended up meaning that he wasn't a bad guy, he just didn't quite agree with some of the things our heroes were doing and in the end he turned out to be an inspiring figure who is going to have great impacts and being a truly inspiring person for our heroes going forward. That is a really good thing and it's really interesting to have a character like that in a show like this. With Hawks, whilst I don't think he's going to turn out to be a villain, I get a feeling from him that he's very self-centered, he's very selfish, and he's very arrogant. And whilst I don't think he's going to betray anybody, he's going to sell anybody out, there's not going to be the scene with Endeavor shaking his fist at him whilst uh, Hawks floats off to join the Meta Liberation Army or the League of Villains or anyone like that, I still feel he's going to end up doing something that's going to end up in hindering our heroes either advertently or inadvertently. With this whole investigation stuff to do with the Nomu, it wouldn't surprise me if he was keeping some information back. So he was keeping some key fact or something away from Endeavor so he can really test Endeavor. You know, if Endeavor does really, really, really great, then it's good for him because he gets kind of the kudos from helping Endeavor do it. But, you know, if someone were to accidentally befall Endeavor and, you know, maybe he was taken out of action for an extended period, maybe that would mean that Hawks would get to be the number one hero. Hmm. You know, maybe I'm just a very cynical, bitter, bitchy kind of person, but I'm getting that kind of vibe from him. Increasingly so, the more that I look at him, but I mean, he just seems to have a very smug aura about him. I'm not really keen on smug people. Which is kind of ironic. Overall, I think this is a very solid episode. I really don't think that it's as good as last week's episode. And certainly not the week before that. And it's not the best episode of this season as a whole. One of the big problems I think it has is the fact it's the first episode in a whole new story arc. And even if this wasn't the penultimate episode of this season, that first episode is always going to be a slower one because it's going to spend more of its time establishing and setting stuff up for future episodes and future weeks to end up dealing with. I get that and I'm sympathetic towards it. Though with that said, I do enjoy the world building stuff that we've had with this week's episode. And whilst I still do not like Endeavour and I don't think I will ever end up warming to him as a character... It was a far more humanising portrayal of him in this week's episode, getting to know him a little bit better. Again, he will never be redeemed in my eyes, but at least I'm getting to understand him more. Whilst I'm not a fan of the whole, every villain is a hero in their own life kind of mentality, you know, it, it is good to have villains whom you can understand. You don't need to relate to them, you just need to understand them. You need to understand the logic behind them. And with this, whilst... Endeavor certainly isn't a villain in the literal sense. At least I'm understanding what he's going through at the moment, which is always going to get thumbs up from me. 
As for everything else, like I say, the major issue that this week's episode has is the fact it is the penultimate episode in a season and it's starting a new story arc. Granted, this whole story arc may only itself be a couple episodes long, we'll soon have to see about that, but it is still setting up stuff which itself will not be fully explored until next season, which itself may not come for another few months. October at the earliest, I'm hearing people say, if not next year, but then given everything that's going on with the illness that cannot be named for fear of shutdown and demonetization, you know, it may be put off even further, but we'll soon see about that. What do you think, dear viewer? What do you think about this week's episode of My Hero Academia? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let me know in the comment section down below, wherever you're watching this on. I deal on YouTube because this is the only place I really will talk about it on. And I'll get back to you shortly, either directly in the comments themselves or towards the end of next week's video. Be sure to like, favourite, subscribe, click the bell and do all the YouTube stuff that YouTube wants you to do because it does be a power of good and YouTube's an increasingly scary place for small content creators. Support your local small content creator today. It does them a power of good. <laughs> That's enough from me for now. I need to get ready to do other things. I don't really have an ending joke or anything like that. So I'll just say thank you for watching. See you next time and goodbye.